place that we're in right now, but all of this is just to say I wanted to post a video just because I share so much of my life and it would be weird not to have this chapter um, covered and say that as it stands March 20th 2020 uh, I'm well. I'm not usually a person to make a video uh, randomly, uh, at least I haven't been for a while, but because I have shared so much of my life online, I wanted to talk about what's going on at the moment and um, also I feel like it helps to speak about it out loud and helps stop the thoughts running around my head and um, I feel like that's the way it's going to be for a while now. Today I was, uh, I had uh, had train tickets booked for a trip. Uh, I was going to go to London, see my sister perform tonight and then see some films at the uh, BFI Flair Film Festival and come back on uh, Sunday night. And, you know, March for the past four years has kind of been like my time. I've um, loved, I think the longest I spent in London was 10 days, um, and it's, it's, yeah, it's just like I said, for the past four years it's been my time and I was, I was excited to go again and then, um, it became apparent that it might not happen and then I think last, about five, six days ago, I accepted that it fully wasn't going to happen. This has happened very, very quickly, but also very gradually and slowly. You know, if this were a movie, everybody would be saying, get to the event. Um, and I don't think we're going to have an event. So for me, Yesterday, I was in a very scary headspace of th what, th um, panicking, and had anxiety, and I didn't know if I would be able to continue to get treatment at the hospital. As it stands now, uh, I spoke to my doctor um, and he reassured me as best as he could that um, things for me, because my treatment has been from birth, will go on as usual. Okay, you wouldn't exert. <sighs> he reassured me in that, but at the same time, it, it, dawned on me that everybody is in the same boat. Nobody knows what it's going to be like in two weeks. Two we in two weeks time I need uh, my blood transfusion again and um, <laughs> the, com compared to where the world was last two weeks ago to where it is now I don't think we saw that and so it's we can make estimations and guesses and probable assumptions, but we don't necessarily know for a fact where we're going to be this time in two weeks. Um, all that is to say is that um, you know, I've always accepted my my freaky little way of life 
Um, you know, I was told that I was going to live to be 10 years old. Um, I, I wasn't told that. My mum was told that. I didn't find that out until later. Because um, I was like, well, why is my 10th birthday, like, off the hook? It's like, <laughs> God, people are getting drunk. And I'm like, I was just like, what? And then my 11th birthday, I had a bouncy castle. 12th birthday, I had a bouncy castle. And then, and then, um... 13th birthday was very lucky because I was having my bone marrow transplant and then after that is when my mum said well actually it's because like all those past three birthdays were because I got told that you should basically be, di be dying soon and so for the past 21 years um, I've been living way past what anybody said I ever would and that is in no small part due to my transfusions and I need them every two weeks and it's um I was unsure of if I would get them going forward um and you know It's, it's, I, I still can't say for certain if I will, but I've been reassured that I will. And that's where, that's where I, it, it dawned on me that for the first time in, in my life, everybody is where I am. So I've always woken up and if it's sunny outside, I have been in isolation. Um, some, I've prepared summer months, I'm in isolation. And that's been me, that's been my life, you know, for summer holidays for kids, they would go outside and play. I would stay indoors and I'd have all these, like, little projects that I did, like, and that was just a given. And so it was normal for me. And now to see everybody else suddenly be put in that position of not being able to go outside, um, not having their own freedom, being told what to do, being told to stay indoors, being told <clears throat> not to see other people. Um, it's, it's weird because for me, not a lot's changed. Don't see very many people and I don't go outside. Um, so, have, but having to watch everybody else go through this left me kind of like shocked at um, the utter like grasp that the, the, the tenuous grasp that people have on this concept. Some people just cannot manage it. It's it's a wild, wild um, place that we're in right now. But all of this is just to say I wanted to post a video just because I share so much of my life and it would be weird not to have this chapter um, covered and say that as it stands, March 20th, 2020 uh, I'm well everybody in my family is well and um, I am happy for the next two weeks and, and then we'll, we'll we'll see from then um, but it it almost makes me feel a little bit connected to what all of you um, because we, we are all in the same boat, we're just all on an even ground at the moment and I feel in that way we can all relate to each other a bit more. I always felt very alien that people couldn't relate to my situation and I feel like maybe now people might understand the way I've been living my life for the past 33 years and 
um, I kind of feel closer to online friends that I have, um, you know, just sort of a thought of them as digital and, you know, they are actually, because now, even if you can't see friends, that that is how everybody's communicating. And so we're all being kind of brought a little bit close together. And that's never a bad thing. So I'm very optimistic, a lot optimistic than I was yesterday. Um, and I'm gonna try and keep that positive frame of mind. And I, uh, I really hope you do too. And I wish you the best. And keep well, keep safe, stay indoors. Lots of love.